Hello everybody, uh, in this video we are going to use uh, GeoGebra to do um, several things. Um, we will learn how to use it uh, to do um, um, congruence uh, transformations including uh, translation, reflection, and rotation. So first uh, let's find the GeoGebra as um, GOG uh, Classic. So we are going to search it. Then open it. So we don't need this, <coughs> and we need more space. Let's move this one a little bit down. So uh, we are gonna show example by using a uh, triangle because you can do any other shapes in the similar way. So first, uh, what we will do is to show how to do translation. To do translation, we need uh, the object. In this case, uh, it's a triangle. And we also need to determine a vector. This vector tells us two things, um, which direction you want to move your object and uh, how much you want to move your object. So that's two information. So now first, uh, let's draw this uh, uh, triangle, any random triangle. Let's see right here. Okay, then that's the first element. The second element we need is to determine uh, the vector we want. So you go here and uh, click the vector. So let's say you, we want to move to um, to the um, from here, then probably in this direction a little bit. You can change it if you want. Then we are going to go here. Then we will choose uh, um, uh, translated by vector, so click it, then we are going to connect the triangle, then connect the vector. So let's do it. Connect the triangle, then connect the vector. So you can see it does um, the, <coughs> um, the GeoGebra does this for us. So uh, this triangle um, has this new image. And by moving um, to this direction and uh, this distance. So that's the first example um, how to do a translation. Uh, if you want to do save, you can save. So click here and uh, uh, save. Let's save it. I'm going to save it as an example. Okay, looks like I need to log in. So I will escape. Okay, anyway. Uh, oh, right here. So we can uh, do here. So, so see. Uh, okay. So then we are going. Uh, we can find the place up here. So translation. So let's uh, do a new one. So the new one. The new one. We are going to do the second thing, which is our uh, reflection. So this reflection, um, let's say we are going to use uh, a, a triangle again. So we will do a triangle and a random triangle. Then um, when we talk about reflection, we and we are going to need a line. So we will draw a line from here. So so let's say we want this line look uh, uh, somewhat like this. So then we will do the uh, reflection. So we go here and uh, we click this button, reflect about a um, nine. So first uh, we click this triangle, then we click this nine. So then this um, um, software will do the uh, reflection by this nine for us automatically. And uh, we can save if we want. So that's the second case. And then let's, uh, uh, see. Okay. let's do another one. Okay. 
So now the last, the next one is the rotation. The rotation uh, mainly we is going to be about the point uh, rotation. So when we have a, um, we have object, then we have to determine a point. Then we will tell the um, software how much we want to rotate and um, uh, it's going to be clockwise or counterclockwise. So these are the several objects and uh, several elements we have to do. So let's say we are going to draw a triangle like this. Then we are going to draw a point. So right, right here, this is our point. Let's say it's going to be here. Then we will say uh, and, uh, rotate around a point. So we choose this object and we click this point. You can see uh, allow, uh, the, the GeoGebra will ask us um, um, it's going to be how much we want to rotate and uh, it's going to be clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's say we are going to do um, clockwise. Let's say we want to do um, um, 90. Let's see. So then it does this 90 degree rotation for us. Okay, so you can see you look like this, and then we can zoom out a little bit. Look like this, and then you can do it again by using other number, other degree, and uh, um, uh, counterclockwise or clockwise. So uh, that's how we do it, uh, and uh, we can save it. Okay, so that's, uh, um, that's uh, uh, three examples about how to use GeoGebra um, to do congruence transformations.